Hey, middle schoolers, this is Mr. Petito, and today we're gonna to walk through your course requests via the Plus Portals website. Now, the Plus Portals is the website you've been using all year long to access your grades. So you're gonna sign in with your email address and your Plus Portals password. That should be your ID number, followed by WAMS or WALS if you were at the lower school last year, WANC if you were at North Campus. Make sure the W is capitalized. If for whatever reason you're not able to access your account, there is a can't access your account link here. It's gonna send you a verification email check that email, and then you'll be able to uh, reset your password to get into the Plus Portals website. Okay, so again, your Woodward email, click on sign in, and at the top of the next screen, you're gonna see a tab that says course requests. Click on that, and then you're gonna see a new interface here where it's gonna say that you have a course request ready to fill out because you have not yet started it. Uh, from here, you can click on the view edit button or the form name hyperlink here. Either one will take you to the correct spot. Okay, on this next screen, okay, the interface, as you can see, you have it's broken down by subject. So this first one here is English, followed by all of the courses that are offered next year for eighth grade English. Then you see math for eight, uh, math courses, science and science courses, social studies, and so forth. Okay, if you scroll all the way back up to the top, you see we can expand all sections and collapse all sections. I'm gonna go ahead and collapse all sections just so you can see that there are six total subjects here for you to fill out. Your five core subjects plus physical education. Okay. So by the end of today, you're gonna to select the courses that were recommended on your course recommendation sheet and make that confirmation here in Plus Portals. Please note that we are not registering for electives today. That'll be done at a later time. So I'm gonna take this just one section at a time. Okay, I'm gonna expand English here. And you can see at the top that it's in red saying that zero courses have been selected. Um, I need to select two, there's a minimum of two, and there's a maximum of two, which basically means you need to select exactly two, right? Um, so you're gonna refer to your course recommendation sheet and select the course for both first semester and second semester. Okay, you're gonna look at the course code, in this case, 8CP or 8HCP, ECP, and TCP. Refer back to your course recommendation sheet. Okay, those honors English or ECP English, right? Um, both of those refer to a specific course numbers. In this case, honors is 3012 and 3013. The reason why there's two different numbers is because one is first semester and the second is second semester. Okay, so you're gonna select both. That's why you need to select two. You need to select for both first semester and second semester. And again, you're making sure that you're selecting both within the same course code. I'm not selecting accidentally, you know, CP and HCP. Those don't align, right? So again, refer to the course codes. If you ever see 3012HP, 3013HP, all right? You'll see that once you've selected both, your header turns green, and then you can move on to the next course. Okay, I recommend collapsing that course and then expanding the next course. So then you're gonna repeat that process for every subject. Okay, so for here, I'm just gonna quickly just do the first two. Okay, science, again, making sure they match. World language, social studies, and physical education. Once you've finished, go back through the top again, expand them, and make sure that again, each header is green, and that you've selected the same course for each subject, HCP in this case. Okay, so I'm just reconfirming. I'm gonna go through each of the subjects. And once you've confirmed that everything looks correct according to your course recommendation sheet, at the bottom right-hand corner, you'll select Submit. Don't choose save and revisit later because we need you to confirm your choices during this session. You'll hit submit. It's going to take you back to the previous screen where your status should now show that it is complete. If you have any questions, make sure you talk to your homeroom teacher or you can reach out to me, robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.